Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Surveyor model 296 QBLE. This bunkhouse travel trailer comes in at 34 feet, 11 inches in overall length and is 6,613 pounds as we see it here today. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video today and talk about some of the cool changes and features on this private bunkhouse travel trailer. Let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside. All right guys, so we're on the inside of this 2021 and a half Surveyor 296 QBLE. So as you can see right here, we're looking at the slide out. You have a jackknife sofa and U-shaped dinette in the main slide out. And as you can see, a couple things on this jackknife sofa, um, you'll notice that it does have cup holders in each arm, which is a pretty uncommon feature. Um, typically you see those in theater seats or sometimes in jackknife sofas, which is a pretty nice feature. And then you'll also notice the nice window coverage. Uh, all of those except for the window behind the dinette will open for ventilation. And as you can see, like I said, it is a U-shaped dinette. Plenty of room to sit the whole family down, play a game of cards, eat a meal. And I really like this modern dinette light that they have there. It's a pretty cool feature. If we look up top on the slide out, you will notice the kind of amber accent light up there, which is a nice feature. And you'll notice a video pop up that will demonstrate that both of these seating fixtures can fold down into a bed. Uh, the jackknife sofa is kind of a small bed, but if you have some little ones, uh, they could sleep there just fine. As we spin around over here, you'll notice you have your entertainment center. This one does have, I believe it's a 39 inch TV that comes with the unit. Uh, we just have it, uh, wrapped up still and you could upgrade that a little bigger if you wanted to if we drop down underneath that you'll notice right here you have your uh, Furion multimedia center so that is AM FM and Bluetooth and it does have HDMI and USB ports which is a perfect spot to put a small DVD player or something right there Next to that over here, you do have your main control panel. So as you can see right there, you do have your lighting controls for both interior and exterior lights, as well as your awning and slide out controls, which is pretty cool. Uh, another really neat feature on the surveyor is this right here. This is the solar charge controller for the standard 80 watt solar panel that comes equipped with every surveyor. Um, that is an awesome feature. It, it's really a game changer in this price point, which, and it's something that I really like. Uh, and I think a lot of people will agree with me as well. New cabinetry colors and fabric colors. So you can see it's kind of, I'm gonna call it a log cabiny feel um, that's probably night or not the right uh, style but that's what it reminds me of and you'll also notice if we look underneath uh, the refrigerator there surveyor made a huge change for 2021 and a half being that this is now cabinet ducted heating as opposed to in floor ducted heating that they used last year Lots of customers wanted wanted that change and they finally listened. If we look up top here, you'll notice they do use dual rows of LED lights. Um, it's a funny thing. Lights and windows are one of the most expensive things to put in an RV. Um, and I don't think a lot of people realize that. Mainly because a lot of dealers don't turn on the lights when they're shooting pictures or showing off units. Um, you can also see the Coleman Mach 15K AC. Um, 
that is a standard piece of equipment. You don't have to pay to upgrade that anymore. And uh, the nice thing about this one is it is also a 50 amp unit, which is pretty cool. Over here, you will notice your digital thermostat uh, right there next to the slide out. And then one last thing before we dive into the kitchen, you do have, or every surveyor comes with these two little pet bowls down there, which is pretty cool. Something that uh, a lot of people really like. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll open up all this storage in the living and kitchen area of this 296 QB LE and see what that has to offer. All right, guys, so I've got all the storage opened up here. First thing I want to start off with is this pantry. So as you can see, this does have motion sensor lighting. You'll notice that light kicked on. Um, you have plenty of storage space. So as you can see there, nice, great spot for a waste basket in there. Tons of space for, you could put some coat hangers in here if you wanted to. And you can turn that light on, off, or in motion mode like I have it shown today, which is a uh, nice uh, feature. A lot of people really like the motion sensor lights um, just because they kick on and kick off. That way you're not wasting as much battery power. Over here, you'll notice that Surveyor brought this, cha uh, this change for this year. Oh, come on camera, work with me. There we go. So as you can see, you actually have storage above the sofa this year. They didn't have this last year. And personally, I really like it just because it, so many brands take it out. And you still have awesome window coverage in this unit. But you can see these are held up by struts. And uh, a nice thing about all these surveyor cabinets is if you feel back here, these are lumber core cabinets with a sticker wrap, but these are pocket screwed. And the nice thing about that is it's gonna, number one, it's going to create less fit and finish issues than stapled cabinets, but it's also a lot harder for these cabinets to break in the unforeseen uh, circumstances that you have a leak or something, which is pretty nice. Um, it's one of the better cabinet constructions out there. If we look over here, you've got a perfect spot underneath the TV for some of your DVDs or board games and such. Um, again, just every little storage space counts. And then if we look over here, you do have the 10.7 cubic foot nor cold compressor fridge. So this will run off the solar panel or shore power or the shard the charge line on your pickup truck so uh, it's a great fridge this is standard in every surveyor and the nice thing about the Norcold version if we look up top at the controls you have separate controls for the freezer and refrigerator a lot of the other fridges out there that are 12 volt don't have that you also have if you can see the moon button that is night mode and the cool thing about that that will actually use less power at night when you're most likely not going to be uh, in and out of the fridge constantly. Plus you can hard turn this on and off if you see the power button up there on the on the left side of uh, all the controls up there. So awesome fridge. We really like these. These use about three amps of power when they're maintaining temp. They use about nine to ten when they're getting down to uh, temperature. If you look down here, you'll notice three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. And if we open this top one a little more, you'll notice they do give you an adjustable silverware divider, which is pretty cool. So again, lots of drawer space, um, which is something a lot of people really like. These are all pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. So you'll notice there's no T molding to break off. Um, basically, the way I describe it is solid is its solid surface, but without the weight. You do have the gray stone oven and three burner stove top. I'll go ahead and lift that up for you so you can see uh, you do have access to the burners and this will, will provide a backsplash. You'll also notice if we drop down here, 
Surveyor uses a cabinet to countertop backsplash. High rise sprayer, uh, high rise faucet, I should say as well, um, which is great. But you never see cabinet to countertop backsplashes. And if we look up in the corner, you can see some power outlets over there and you have some more right above the sink. And those are on the GFCI protected outlets. Nice little bottle opener right here. You're also going to have a nice countertop extension. Uh, when you pull the slide out in, this has to be down. And then as you can see, I have one sink top cover removed, but you have the nice farm style sink. If we look up top here, you'll notice great overhead cabinetry space. I really like what they're doing with their glass inserts right here. And the cabinet poles are interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about them, but they're really easy to grab. I will say that. More storage over there, and it's passed through from one side to the other. And then lastly, you have your microwave and hood range vent with the light and fan. One other thing, um, you'll notice that uh, Surveyor does not use a vaulted roof anymore. These, what they did instead on these Surveyor units is they lengthened the sidewalls up three inches. So these are now six foot nine inch tall sidewalls instead of six six like they were last year. And you're probably wondering, well, three inches, that doesn't make it much difference, does it? Well, it does, especially if you're a taller person. You'll get taller slide outs, taller overhead cabinets, more space between the bunk beds, and a taller shower, which is something being a 6'3 adult, I can appreciate. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump back to the bunk room and look at the QB in the 296 QB. All right, guys, so stepping back into the bunk room of this 296 surveyor. So as you can see, you have a nice barn style pocket door here to separate off the bunk room from the rest of the unit. As we come into the bunk room, to our right, we'll notice three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer guide drawers, and some divided shelf space for all the kids' toys and clothes and such. Light switch here, so when it's time to go to bed, all mom and dad have to do is walk in, flip the light off, and call it good. Uh, plus you have two USB ports back here, right there. Thermal foil press membrane countertops, a nice component shelf um, right here being that you do have TV hookups back in this corner if the kids want to put an Xbox or gaming system or something over there they can and if we go ahead and shut this door here so as you can see this has four individual bunks these are 300 pound weight capacity each and as you can see, you do have the nice built-in ladder to get up to the top bunks. And you'll also notice four windows back here to really make it nice and open and light. And then over here, we'll have another set of USB ports uh, for these two bunks. So pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, if we go ahead and shut these drawers over here, you do have a nice chunk of storage and you can access that from the outside as you can see there so great extra storage for some of the kids toys and stuff that they can get in from here as well as outside if they're gonna bring oh I don't know like Tonka trucks or something like that um, which is pretty neat all right guys let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bathroom and let me tell you it has a really really nice bathroom all right guys, so stepping up into the master bathroom. As you can see, you do have a pocket door to separate off the bathroom on this side. You'll notice this little metal piece here is a magnet. That way the door kind of catches itself when it's shut, which is pretty cool. And you'll also notice, and I forgot to mention this, they don't use the little straps. They have this little thing that twists and then it opens like so. So it's, it's not gonna be as easy to break if the kids are trying to um, open that to shut the door. All pressed membrane countertops 
in here as well, thermofoil. You notice they are putting a backsplash behind the sink in the bathroom too, which is really nice. Down here you have a GFCI protected outlet, as well as your tank monitoring panel with your water pump and water heater on gas controls there, as you can see right there. You do have a medicine cabinet, not a mirror glued to the wall. And as you can see, you have some toothbrush holders in here, which is pretty neat. And you also are going to have a uh, window in here as well. Just, you know, little things like that just impress me for some, for some reason. If we drop down here and open this storage, again, good extra storage in there. You'll also notice they give you a bathroom trash can, which is pretty nice. You don't see that even in luxury fifth wheels that cost eighty or hundred thousand dollars. Pocket door to separate off the bedroom. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. AC and heat in the bathroom. Uh, this right here is a Surveyor branded laundry bag, which is pretty cool. And you'll notice touches like the uh, the coat hook or the robe hooks. And they didn't just make this out of a scrap piece of wood. They purpose made this piece of wood to go right here, which is it. It just speaks wonders of their um, their construction processes. They're not just going to cut corners just to give you something extra. 30 by 36 shower and you can be upwards of 6364 and still shower in here and you do have these slow close shower curtain which is a pretty neat feature um, it's I like it a lot better than a curtain that's gonna stick to you or things of that sort and then as we look up top you do have a skylight up there uh, very intelligently placed as well and then you do have a vent fan all right guys, let's go ahead and we'll jump up to the master bedroom and take a look at some of the awesome features there. All right guys, so stepping into the master bedroom of this 296 Surveyor, first thing you're gonna notice, this is a 60 by 80 true queen. Not a short camp queen. So any queen size mattress will fit in here, which is pretty cool. You'll also notice the nice front windshield. And yeah, as you can see, you do have a pleated nightshade to uh, close that off at night. If you look up top, you'll notice good extra cubbies up there. And up here in this vent right there is where a second air conditioner would go if you wanted to add one. So we come over here, you'll notice you have hanging closets on both sides of the bed nice bonus drawer down there and as you can see down here you do have household and USB outlets right there you're also gonna have a second entry door so the cool thing about this trailer is everything is a hundred percent accessible with the slide out closed uh, and there is a deadbolt privacy uh, lock on there as well Nice cross breeze emergency exit over here, again with pleated nightshades. And then if you wanted to add a TV, you could add a smaller one right here with the and you do have the appropriate connections. Last thing I want to touch on is you'll notice how far forward surveyors wardrobes are. Well, as you can see right there, you do have some cubby holes back behind the wardrobe. And so many brands will just waste that space. Cool thing with Surveyor is you have double shelf storage. You also are going to have a cup holder in the bottom portion. And the bottom portion is that will lift up for some hidden storage and an extra power outlet as well. And they have a hole to be able to run the cords up from the bottom. So if you sleep with a CPAP machine, a surveyor is perfect uh, for you because they're already thinking ahead of where you can put your CPAP machine where it's the most comfortable to use. So something I really like. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 296 QBLE by the Forest River Surveyor Division. Let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the outside, take a look at some of the features there. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2021 and a half Forest River Surveyor Model 296 QBLE. Again, pardon any road noise. Uh, we are right next to Interstate 40 here. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. 
So as you can see up here, you have the nice uh, fiberglass front. This does have the integrated automotive grade windshield on the front, as you can see right there. If we drop down here, you'll notice a couple of unique features. You have two 20 pound propane tanks, a power tongue jack, which is standard, and then your battery will go right here. Uh, we just have a battery on this one to demonstrate the solar. And if we look back in here, you'll notice a battery disconnect. You also are gonna have a seven way plug holder to keep that off the ground. And then on this side, as you can see right there, you do have some safety chain hooks, which this also doubles as a leash latch. So pretty neat features on the tongue of the survey. As we come around over here, you will notice your pass-through. We'll take a look at that on the opposite side. You can see your fresh water connect, uh, inlet as well as your six gallon gas and electric hot water heater with DSI spark ignition. That will put out about 18 gallons of uh, water per hour. So we come over here, you will notice your city water and black tank flush. And then right underneath that, you have your dump valves. And if we look up underneath here, as you can see, this is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly to provide you four seasons use. This does have a direct, uh, a ducted vent into the underbelly from the furnace, which is a pretty nice feature. You don't always see that on a fiberglass unit. Just because it's fiberglass doesn't mean it's four season. As we come back here, you'll notice your uh, cable and satellite hookups, as well as your 50 amp service. And then this compartment here, we looked at from the inside, but that's that space underneath that bunk bed, uh, perfect for the kids' toys. If we come around here to the back, uh, you can see a couple things. You have a bumper for your stinky slinky, a nice spare tire and carrier, and as you can see, Go Power has pa partnered with Surveyor, and the cool thing about this spare tire cover is it tells you that this unit is equipped with an 80 watt solar panel, which is pretty cool. And the nice thing about the Go Power system is they have technicians that can walk you through any problem you're having as a customer. You don't have to call us to have us call them as a dealer um, and you can also daisy chain them together which is pretty cool and you don't have to upgrade the controller to do that roof ladder is standard to allow you to get up on top of the one piece PVC roof that has a 15 year warranty 100% coverage non prorated and as you can see you also have a backup camera prep location up there right underneath those clearance lights as we come around over to this side you'll notice this right here is a spray port for a quick connect spray hose for some cold water uh, I don't have the full outside kitchen set up uh, just because we have some stuff that's boxed but in this first tray here, there will be a dump sink that goes there. And then right in the middle here, this comes with a Suburban Elite Series griddle, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's propane powered. If we drop down, you do have a quick connect for propane underneath there. Four corner stabilizer jacks, and they are manual. We'll touch on that a little more here in a minute. But all this is nice galvanized rolled steel. So if you leave it out in the rain, it's not gonna fall apart. And then you have a nice little prep table right here. Mini fridge, perfect for bottles of water or juices or whatever the kids want. You've got an electrical outlet and an LED light. If we back up just a little bit, couple things you'll notice on the steps so these are the more ride step above steps uh, which is pretty cool they didn't have these last year we drop down you can see it right there these have a step light behind the kick plate large entry assist handle and if we come and look right up here 
you can see that this unit uses Asdell. So what Asdell does for you, again, pardon the road noise, is Asdell is a waterproof membrane or a waterproof composite panel that goes behind the fiberglass, it's laminated into the wall, and it's waterproof, mold proof, mildew proof, doesn't off gas formaldehyde like some of the wood does. It also is a noise dampener and it is lighter weight and has more insulation. So it's pretty neat uh, paneling. Um, something that a lot of trailers I think are gonna go to here very soon. And then these are friction hinge doors and you'll notice these use a little bit different door handle. So it's more like a motorhome style door and it, it feels like a car door to me. That's pretty neat. Large power awning as you can see right there and it does cover both entry doors which is really nice. You can see your outside speakers and you also have an amber porch light and if we look up in there you can see that this does have LED lights in the awning or at the awning base. We drop down here you have cable and power if you want to add a TV to the outside and then <clears throat> pardon me uh, these ride on a on lion's head tires which will have a five-year defect warranty two years of roadside assistance for your tires and they have a 12 month no questions asked replacement guarantee on your tires which is a pretty neat feature we come up here you will notice the second entry door that is friction hinge and you'll notice that they still give you a larger grab handle so many brands don't do that you do have standard fold-out steps here on your on your secondary entry door and as we come up front here as you can see uh, you do have a motion sensor light in the pass-through all aluminum framed walls uh, plus bed decks, which is pretty cool. And here's that uh, sink and the griddle. And right next to, let's see if I can get in here and show you that. There we go. Um, this right here is a bit that goes on your cordless screw gun impact or drill. That way you can run your stabilizer jacks down with your, uh, with your cordless drill or, or whatever you've got. But great pass through. This is a little bigger than some of the other units. This is also gonna be held up by a magnet as well as all the other doors. And this one has a slam latch on it, which is a pretty cool feature. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Forest River Surveyor Model 296 QBLE. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to put those down in the comment section below, or you can give us a call at 806 335-2336 or you can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com real quick if you're new to the channel uh, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below and if you enjoyed this video and if you found it informative feel free to hit that like button down below all right guys we thank you very much for watching we hope you found this video informative and we hope you have a happy holiday season and a wonderful rest of your weekend.